Isa Kumusa has been sewing men clothes for over 15 years now. However, he has for the past seven years been making clothes for Suleimana Abdul Samed, popularly known as Awuchi, which means let's go. The 29-year-old whose height measured 7 feet 4 inch is 1 feet away from the world's tallest man. Every month, material is first to run up the color with 8 years. And take you back in ten, and take me back in twelve. So how long you are? How long can the last time you come here? Only my last time was ten thousand fourteen years. Arabo pay. So ten thousand eleven topi two years. Ka ana yinong, ana yinong okay. So nda lala maju iran kaniyoma anya la wola anya atugun tuguni. In sort of kind of kwen shia full in changla atuguni. So all the time, Okuchana, dear every month, Tikala, one one jaw, sometimes she la weekly, weekly, Unima. So Unton Chana sometimes, it take a measurement, ma, car, dear la shake, eleven nola, yellow passi, eh, eh, material, ma, Kadipala, Akupagu. Awuchi tells me he's paying the price of becoming famous in a sense that he has to be smartly dressed. However, finding his clothes size on the open market like other men do remains a hurdle due to his height. As such, he had to resort to a tailor to make his preferred outfit. So people like taking pictures with you. You, you, you like, I like entering into public, big, big people, where big, big people are. I have to get myself there, you know, if you like those things, you don't have to let yourself do it. You know, that's why I just... Because I can't get a, 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 a t-shirt like the one that my brother is wearing. I can't get something like that. And then... You know, it just... You mean you we, don't it, have... You don't get your size in them? No, 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 no. It's not... The... Tila, measure me and then so a nice clothes for me. That's just that is the, and if I'm going to buy materials, just buy materials like materials like twelve years and then you give it to him. And then you just be sitting now and then he called you. So the material you brought will not reach you. You have to add another two. So you that's unexpected money. So you go and buy another two and then come and add so that it can't it the way I want it. This, he said, is taking a toll on his finances. He tells me his mobile money business has collapsed. Aside from clothing, Awuchi does not have a befitting bed. This double-sized mattress and a student mattress has been combined to give him relative comfort. Even that, he tells me he sleeps in a diagonal way. Because of my height, I realized that this mattress is too small for me, and I'm, my height is, I'm longer than it, so I can't lie on that mattress alone, so I have to buy this one, and I bought it on 2021, 20, and then I just said it small, so that I can't help myself. In that, the small mattress, when the visitor come to sleep on that mattress, I, it disturbed me because I can't sleep well. My mattress is not well positioned, my, you know. The, this thing, the, the height of my mattress is not, sometimes I have to put myself down on the floor and then half of my body will be on the floor and then the others will be in, on top of the mattress. Yes, from afar, he looks tall and a giant, but a closer view of him reveals Awuche is physically unfit. He's battling chronic wounds with bandage tied on the left leg. There's also a visible wound on the right leg. Every blessed day I go to GMC. Every blessed day. And it's, it's just this day that the doctor advised me that I should be coming on every two days or every three days. I should try and be visiting the hospital. What's Madam, the cause? Is it like you had an accident and had a wound? Yes, I had an accident and the wound was put in and it's not going. 
even because of that, I went to Tite Tamale Titan Hospital because of my wound. And then they realized that the wound will not go until my heart I started I stopped growing tall. So the more I grew, the more the wound to increase. So they manage it in a such a way that it stopped in a particular point so that it won't grow and then I I also get even just nowadays that I'm free to walk a little bit. I was not able to walk. That was twenty twenty. That was around July and then September there about. I was not able to walk. Ordinarily, anyone in Awuche's fame would have been excited, but he tells me the thought of his health condition is draining. It disturbed me a lot. It disturbed me a lot when I think that Awuche is the tallest man in the in the country or in the world, and then you get to a point that he's not feeling well. You know, I don't. I myself, I don't feel happy on that. If there's, it happens that my leg were to my wound was not to be there, and then it's just the, you know, the back of my 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 cord is just, you know, I would have been happy a little bit, but you know, person with a height like this, and there was a fit in him, standing fit, you know, the place I would have been going far. Family and friends who provide support to him from time to time are appealing to the general public to assist Awuchi to get medical support. I also want to stand on behalf of Gambaga, my hometown, and then on behalf of the youth and then on behalf of Awuche's family and appeal to the government, appeal to corporate Ghana, let us come to the support of this gentleman. For Awuche, the height is not an issue, but the problem, however, is the health challenges associated with his condition which he wants support from the general public so he can undergo the surgery that is needed for him to have a normal life. Reporting for City News, I am Daina Ungwan, Gambaga, Northeast Region.